Dawn of the first day. 70 long hours remain. <laughs> oh, this is going to be hell. The quickest way to the ocean is through the west gate. Finally, a west gate. <laughs> okay, after saving my game and inputting the inverted song of time, it's time to say hello everyone, Drix here, and welcome to by far the longest sequence I have planned for The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. In the previous cycle, we took care of the Snowhead Temple, the second dungeon, and we helped lift the curse of the second region in the mountains. Today, we are going to face the ocean and everything that is going to be attached to it. Because this is the point in the game where pretty much everything unlocks. We got ourselves a permission to use powder kegs. We now have the ability to enter Romani Ranch at the first day and take care of uh, that place's main quests. And that will unlock the ocean for us and also the canyon partially. And that is the reason why I have so much stuff planned for today. <laughs> but first we need some money. Because as you may remember, powder kegs are not only gotten in the mountains. There's one place in Clock Town where we can also get them. If you remember from the very first cycle when I entered the bomb shop, I also pointed you guys out towards a Goron that is present there, who actually sells powder kegs, but only to Gorons that have a permission to use them. And now that we finally have that, both the Goron and the permission to use powder kegs, this guy can be used to buy them. Oh, of all places! You're a Goron, so you should be able to carry a powder keg, right? So, uh, won't you buy a powder keg for 50 rupees? How about it? I'll buy one. This powder keg we need. Powder kegs made by my instructor are extremely powerful. Come back and see me if you run out. Which is easy to do since you can only carry one at a time. <laughs> but okay. Romani Ranch. It's a place we've been to multiple times already. However, we also know there's a mystery there. Because of the fact that the moment we get in there on the third day, the inhabitants there act really strange. Now we finally have the ability to find out why they are acting so strange. <laughs> and this is main quest related, so even if you're just following along to clear the game, we also need to go here, because the way... In order to enter both the ocean and the canyon, we can find here on the first day. Allow me to help you out, sir, because you breaking this stone is going rather slowly. <laughs> this is a better way. And he's not going to be happy that uh, we took over his job. <laughs> what? I thought I could break it. <laughs> no, sir. That goes way too slow. This is how you break a rock. Uh, hey, as long as it's open to traffic, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You should have hired Goron in the first place. <laughs> but okay, time for the mystery to get revealed. Let's go in. Romani Ranch at day one. Let's see what's going on here. Aha, there's Cremia. And hopefully now she can actually talk normally. There's also a cow here. We did not see any cows last time we were here. And she also talked about how the cows were all gone. Hmm. Let's go see what you have to say. Oh, speak. Come on, speak. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, of course. Can't always talk to anyone with masks. Oh my, did you come from town? Then, that means... Milk road is open to traffic. Good. I can deliver my milk to town now. Welcome to Romani Ranch, the birthplace of Chateau Romani. Enjoy yourself. Okay, she's going to be delivering milk to town soon, it seems, now that the boulder is gone. We'll be checking that out later. Because that's not going to be a thing quite yet. But we'll keep it in mind. And of course, let's not forget about Epona. She was also here, of course. However, since we were unable to actually talk to the people here, 
we couldn't quite ask for her back. <laughs> but hopefully now we can. Let's go talk to Creamia's sister now, Romani. Hey, who are you? I'm Romani. I was given the same name as the ranch. What is your name? Uh, Trix. Trix? That's a nice name, but... How about Grasshopper? That's a name Romani gives you. Grasshopper? I'm not a grasshopper, I'm a lizard. <laughs> See, you're wearing green clothes, and you patter about when you walk, so... Grasshopper it is. Romani was practicing for tonight. Tonight. They are coming. They? They. They come at night. Every year when the carnival approaches. They come riding in a bright, shining ball. A whole lot of them come down. Oh, well, they look scary. And then, they come to the barn. Okay, that sounds menacing. My older sister won't believe me, but Romani must protect the cows. Hey, Grasshopper. I'm recruiting for an assistant right now. You're a boy. Don't you try? Hey, what do you mean I'm a boy? Aren't girls allowed to use bow and arrow? <laughs> but okay. Great. Now that's the spirit, Grasshopper. Okay then. I'm going straight into my strategy. They'll appear all over the ranch. They'll aim for that barn. And approach it slowly. So hit them with arrows so they can't get in. You got that? You mustn't leave the ranch. Grasshopper. Let's practice right away. There are 10 ghost-shaped balloons in the ranch, so hurry and burst them all. If you take more than 2 minutes, you're out. The current record is 1 minute. Are you ready? Okay, apparently we need to chase off some uh, quote-unquote intruders. But before we're allowed to help her, we first need to practice horseback archery. As you can see, she has some ghost-shaped balloons all around the ranch. And we need to show that we are a master of archery. Something we already knew we were. We played plenty of mini games with the bow and arrow. <laughs> but not while riding on a horse. Good to finally have Epona back. Even though we're officially just practicing. <laughs> okay, there's another one. You can actually use the map in order to see where they are. As you can see, there are dots on the map. That you can use to see where these balloons are. Okay, two more. Bam. And... There we go. Okay, you're done. 43 seconds? Amazing! It's a new record! You two work perfectly together. Yeah, why do you think that is? <laughs> I'll teach Romani's horse calling song to you, Grasshopper. Now, you two keep getting along and go practice some more. This horse seems to like this song. And it sounds very familiar. <laughs> Epona song coming right up. AXY, AXY. We get Epona's loyalty back with this. It's Epona's song. A melody signifying the bond you share with Epona. Play it, and your beloved horse will come running. Stand by Epona's side and press the A button to climb on her back, to get off, slow to a stop and press the A button. Press A while riding to gently tap her with your hands so she knows to go faster. With enough speed you can even jump over fences. When your arrows hit these, they burst into nothing, but the real ones will keep popping up. If they get into the barn, we lose. They run away at first light of the sun, so we have to keep fending them off until then. Did you get all that? Yeah. The operation starts tonight at 2, so I'll be waiting by the barn. Don't be late. Okay, that is an appointment that stands. Protect Romani's cows. 
you've been asked to take on the job of a nighttime assistant. Okay, let's keep 2 a.m. in our minds. And that is apparently when these guys start showing up. But the most important thing for now, now that night time hasn't come yet, is the fact that we finally have our horse back. So, let's uh, immediately start working with her. Epona is in fact also the key to the ocean, and even partially the canyon. I need to address quickly that not the entire canyon is going to be opened, just the first part of it. But the ocean does open up entirely this way. But before we go there, there's actually something that we need to get from here. Remember the Gorgon track? Here we can actually also do a side quest, but for that a horse was required. <laughs> so we're doing this now. And these guys do look familiar, don't they? Let's go see what their deal is. Is that pathetic thing your horse? I would have guessed that that little thing was a mule for sure. Ain't that right, little brother? Do you think a horse that pathetic would gallop if you push the control stick forward? And it would run faster if you pressed A? This guy's funny. Why don't you pony up 10 rupees for the chance to race against us? If you win, we'll give you something nice, kid. What do you do? Oh, we can race you guys. We barely have our horse and we can already race with her. <laughs> it's a simple race. Just go once around this track. And if you can beat us to the finish line, you win. <laughs> you ready? Oh, I was born ready for racing. Ah, remember the race against Ingo from Ocarina of Time? Well, this doubles up. You now have two Ingos for racing. <laughs> Known as the Gorman Brothers. The key to beating these guys, because uh, trust me, it is not easy. But there is an uh, easy way uh, to actually cheese these guys. And that is to actually spare your carrots, as you can see at the bottom screen. We have a row of carrots, and these actually determine how many times we can speed up Epona. We don't want to um, go through these carrots too quickly. The best way is to just use a carrot and wait a couple of seconds, only then speed up again. And try to give it a chance to actually respawn. And that way you should have plenty of um, speed in order to keep ahead of these guys. And win this pretty easily. I can't believe we lost! Big bro, now we gotta give him something nice. <laughs> We've gotta give him something. Um, I got it. We'll give him this ninja mask. It'll be a nice toy, Sonny. You can pretend you're on a big adventure. Pretend? Oh, we get the Garros mask. A wandering ninja spirit from Ikana is housed within. In exchange, you can't tell anyone where you got this. Okay, uh, why do you people have a ninja mask from the canyon? <laughs> we'll find out later. But anyway, we receive a mask from the Gorman brothers. By beating them in a race. And you can only do it during the day, as you can see. The suspicious Gorman brothers. Yeah, suspicious is indeed what these guys are. Trust me, we'll be hearing more from them. But for now, this is the only real quest we can do with them. This mask we also need for something I've planned later in this cycle. Because like I promised, Epona actually partially opens up the canyon. And that partial opening is enough to actually finish off the cafe quest. Also one of the reasons why the cycle is going to be so long. We're finally going to finish the entire thing. But before we do, the horse does not open up the canyon partially. It also opens up the ocean. The next region we are going to. And as you can see... There is a high fence here. The whole reason why Epona is required to enter here. <laughs> but now that we have her, this place is now open. And this is what we can find here. Welcome to Great Bay Coast. Of course, another region which is going to be housed under a curse. Let's go see what the curse is here. Okay, our welcoming committee once again comes in the form of a sign. Great Bay Coast. Beware of levers in the sand. When facing the shore, Zora Cape can be found to the left, 
and the Perilous Pirate's Fortress is on the opposite side. Okay, Zoras also live here apparently. Not a surprise. They do like their water, don't they? <laughs> but that is not all there is here. And that was one of the levers the sign was uh, warning about. <laughs> Let's ignore these guys for now. There's a small village here, as you can see. With two buildings. The building to the left is uh, another spider house. And I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> Let's quickly go out of here. We'll save that for later. <laughs> and what is this little house? Fisherman's hut. Rare fish inside. Ooh, rare fish. I'm already interested. <laughs> okay. And you must be the fisherman then. I've been catching fish in these seas for 30 years. When it comes to catching fish, I'm better than the Zoras. Uh, that's what I'd like to be saying anyway. Lately, the seawater has gotten really warm. It doesn't help my fishing at all. And what's worse, this water has gotten murky, so when I ship out, I always lose my way and somehow end up back up on shore. We fishermen, and even the fish, are in a real predicament. Come to think of it, there was a Zora floating lifelessly out in the bay. But there's probably no helping him now. If there was a Zora drifting in the bay, why didn't, didn't you help him? <laughs> you jerk. But anyway, there's also a rare fish here. Help me! Please take me back to the waters near Pinnacle Rock! Past those two rocks off the coast! Are you interested in that fish? It's a rare fish, isn't it? It is called a seahorse. I caught it swimming around here, just off of Pinnacle Rock. Since it's rare, I was thinking of selling it at the town carnival, which should be starting soon. If you want, I'll give it to you. On one condition. Do you have a pictograph of the female pirates? Why would I have a picture of a female pirate? What the hell are you thinking, man? <laughs> What's this? I guess you don't have one after all. I think this guy's a pervert. <laughs> Failure. He wants to see a female pirate. Technically, I do have a picture of a female pirate, but it's all blurry and it's not all that great. The all-important face. I can't see it very well. Eh, you don't get it? No, luckily I'm under 18, so I don't uh, get stuff like that. <laughs> I'm not a pervert yet. <laughs> but okay, that's something we need to take care of later. Go away. We have not seen any female pirates yet, so taking a picture of them is not an option anyway. Okay, what do you have to say? Danger, keep out. Swimming prohibited due to murky water. Yeah, just like the fisherman said. Apparently the seawater is very murky. That seems to be the curse here. But unlike in the swamp, the water is luckily not hazardous. It does not hurt us. So here we can actually swim. In order to reach this house over here, for instance. It is also where the safe and warp point is. So let's open it up. And it's also where Tingle is floating around. New area means new map. So let's get down here, sir. <laughs> okay, let's buy ourselves the map of the ocean. Great Bay map, 20 rupees. Now you can find your way around the seashore. Just what we needed. <laughs> Okay, let's go check out what this place is. Yeah, it's a stage in Super Smash Brothers, I know, but also something in this game. <laughs> marine Research Lab. Researching water quality and marine life forms in Great Bay. Okay, this seems to be a laboratory of some sort. A research Lab. Let's go talk to the researcher here. They are late. What are those Zoras doing? Hmm? What is it, boy? Do you also come to watch the Zora eggs hatch? I'm excited about it too, but those important eggs haven't arrived yet. 
takes about one to three days from the time the Zora eggs are laid for them to hatch. But if they aren't kept in this aquarium until then, they may die. The reason for this is that the recent abnormal weather has caused the ocean temperature to rise. Zora eggs are very sensitive to changes in the temperature. The only way the eggs can hatch if they are placed in this aquarium's water, which I took from the ocean and set aside for them long ago. The Zoras are well aware of this, but they're still late. I wonder if something has happened at Zora Hall. If something as important as Zora eggs that need to hatch, and if they don't show up, something must be up. We'll be checking that out in a minute. That's a big fish. I bet that thing could eat a small fish in a single bite. Yeah, these things look scary. <laughs> Let's go outside again.